Hi friends, welcome to Testing Tutorials Point. This is Lokesh Gorantra and today we are going to discussing about mobile automation testing by using Python. Hi friends, welcome back and today we are going to discussing about how to create a config data or common data into our py test python in mobile app i'm testing okay here the simple concept this is also one another simple concept how means there is a conf test.py we are used for common functions here right the similar format we are going to use for common data common data like you can able to see app and union Android app package and app activity we are done for hard coded <clears throat> right and also the url we done for hard coded if you go for here again xpath we done for hard coded but i don't want to do hard coded but i want to store some other file or some uh, python file or some different file any file i want to do it how we can able to use it for this we can able to create for one file that is called uh, config data dot ini I, ini file okay just you can hit okay once you done then it will store into here and we need to create for array <clears throat> this is a pytest ini there is a registration purpose config data dot ini is basically configuration data purpose okay for this i'm going to use for one square braces inside that i'm going to use for common values okay this is my name of file okay now i'm going to use for url for the url i can able to use it for this particular url purpose <clears throat> i can able to pass this url here okay if you want to read some data username or password something or some <clears throat> app package or app activities that also if you want you can able to store and just i'm going to use for here username just for example purpose i'm going to show you here and just i'm going to use for location and again i'm use for password as password only because just i'm going to show you some example purpose how we can able to store the data here even maybe you thinking this is a common value that's why i used one place if i want some different <clears throat> different uh, sections you can create for n number of sections even you can go for down again square brace again you can provide for abc again you can go for here again you can provide for abc like this okay and go for here and here you can n abc i underscore underscore n types okay like this you can provide n number of sections you can able to create there is no limit for that okay n number of ways you can able to create common data but after creating the common data how we can able to read the common data right we are stored the data but we need to read the data for reading purpose again we need to create for any file python file and here we can able to use a uh, reading property or reading common data any kind of name you can able to provide there is no specific things read data okay this is my read data file okay for this particular file purpose we need to import one particular config parser is the one function is there that one we need to import okay import and config parser okay and then we can able to use it here config space config parsers dot raw config parsers okay this is the function <clears throat> my everything functions value in this config dot a read in read section what we can able to do our file where exactly it is presented that particular section we need to 
now inside that particular project only it is present it is not there is no folder dot to forward slashes okay in case if you have any folder location that particular file you need to specify the folder location no means then you can directly use for the file name which we use for config data dot ini this is my file okay we are able to read okay then how to read the data inside the value means we can able to use for there is a class we can create a class the name it is called as a read config or something anything you can provide there is no specific name to indication and here <coughs> at the rate static method okay then use for def get url okay get url and then inside the get url what you can say get url equal to config dot a get config dot get okay in the config data it will uh, if you mouse over it will face the data and the section what section you want and what option you want these are the two things we need to provide okay section that is a common value okay this is my section for the double quotation value <clears throat> comma then what is the value of that that is a value is url url okay and return url okay now we are able to return this one even you can able to call this function any location and you can able to read it right <laughs> whether we can able to read this particular value or not we can see now okay now for this we can go for demo place location just i'm going to demo location and just i'm going to capture in here what i can do right here minus read data dot a config dot get url okay like this we can able to see or else we can able to directly import and read data file that is a file we need to import right from the import we can able to use like this or else <clears throat> from read data import read config that is a class name that is a class name okay like this also we can able to import we can able to call for this particular class okay and dot get value okay now i'm going to use for mine now i'm going to call, cut this one and i can use for comma separated value okay now you can see here if i run now now you can see demo pytest there is a url okay the url it is passed here we can able to get like this we how many want you can able to directly you can import the package then you can read the values this is the simplest way of calling the functions or common data how many sections you want that many sections you can able to keep it how many you want the values that many even you can able to store for xpath uh, IDs, CSS selectors, or messengers, anything you can able to store here and you can able to capture it. That's a quick way. Okay, this is a recommended for in a real time. Okay, we should not do for hard coding, which we done here that 
that is a process we need, we should not do in a real time manner okay thank you for watching i hope you concepted that and uh, <clears throat> understood subscribe and share to your friends and colleagues and don't forget to comment on this video thank you